Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aquarius for the month of November. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. If this does not sound like your story, check your moon sign or your rising sign. Your messages could be there, and if not, simply check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. So, let's begin here. <clears throat> Here we have the Toad, which can be a lucky card, but I mean, it it's luck that requires action, so you have to go after it. Um, in the future, and a card of belonging. Okay, so um, the future is um, a lot of worry about what's going to happen. It's usually overthinking, um, thinking about things that may or may not ever occur you know you're wondering where you belong here you may something might happen where you may feel like you no longer belong where you are or somebody makes you feel that way and that's it's like, like uh, feeling like a stranger in your own home a lot of worry over the over the future and then this toad so I feel like there's going to be something that will happen um, that will cause you to worry but uh, you will have to take action on it there's luck in doing so and do we see it again here something happens really quickly um, in this commitment and um, this um, for somebody this could be a fairly new relationship and if that is the case it's going to become very rocky okay something just kind of happens out of the blue and it's all over this reading we have the eel right here in our opening card. This is what lurks in the shadows. Um, it's typically something that would shock you, or take you by surprise. Um, somebody could do or say something that shocks you. And whatever this is, you will not see it until it's too late. So this has to do with some type of news or message um, having to do with this connection. It's going to cause a lot of insecurities and a lot of worry with the, uh, with the anchor and the umbrella being here. Um, here we have this above the book. Again, there, it speaks to... Um, this being a fairly new relationship with that ace of um, of wands and something being hidden or uh, it's an, an opportunity a window of opportunity whether it's with someone new or someone from your past but whatever this is uh, something is hidden from you that you cannot see at this moment you might feel it but I don't think you can see it and it may be this feeling that you might need to take action on that in some way would prove to be lucky for you something needs to end and I think um, with the coffin and the bad health, see, there's something that's, um, it, and you know, maybe it, it's a relationship that has been off again, on again, off again, on again. But there's a something, um, perhaps toxic, toxic, uh, something that needs to end toxic behavior toxic pattern
something is building and is about to come out and maybe it's something you were fearing maybe you're fearing something coming out the book is closed and it's like there's a page I, I get the sense that because we have the book and we have the message it, and it shows a page something written all over this page and I my immediate thought was oh that's a page from the book and so it's like a something that comes out or something that um, that needs to there's there's something or hidden things or secrets that need to get cut out because they're affecting the relationship in some way and whatever this is you have the book twice so something is definitely uh, either you are keeping a secret or they are and there's some hint or something that hints at it because of the page um, here so it, it appears to be very challenging and uh, you could be trapped in your fear with regards to this mm, trying to perhaps see the truth in something whatever this is feels like a threat here to this to the to the desire and the yearning for this stability here this security of the house this is what you yearn for what you long for but if you remove the blindfold and look at these uh, fears it may be a threat to this in some way is what I'm picking up and 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 you don't you don't want to do that um, because that's going somewhere that you don't want to go um, the hedgehog is about hiding one's pain and um, feeling very vulnerable when it comes to this perhaps relationship or or this offer maybe you want this like really bad but instinctively you know something uh, something is wrong and you don't want to look at it because then you won't get to hear which is the wish and the desire you see we have the temptation to um, to to want this relationship to be in this relationship to have this ace of cups this house but the snake is here now the snake is somebody who kind of rewrites things and bends the rules it knows what it wants and it knows when to strike and usually this will be unexpected and treacherous just like the eel it's what it's saying right at the beginning it was your first card out so you could should you face these fears you would be thinking perhaps with the boot of ending this right but that we have this person coming in even if you had this thought on your mind this person comes in to woo you and romance you and make you uh, the danger is that they they have that ability to make you forget or to to say oh no it was just my imagination this can't be happening this person loves me the 
the path that you wish to go to get to the house and the desire is hampered with the path and the anchor and the snake. There's a blockage. You won't be able to see that. Um, yeah. See, you're expecting, this is what you're expecting. Here you are sitting in expectation of this person that you feel very close to. You're expecting advancement, this new beginning. But there's something missing here. It could be that, you know, you've had a hard time of it in love and relationships and you're missing love in your life. And you want this really badly. But what you're doing is setting yourself up for heartbreak and a fall. So, you know, take a deeper look at this. They're telling you it's not healthy. You got the bad health, the snake, temptation, and the consequences therein is what the apple is um, talking about. So that is what I have for you. And um, I thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for um, subscribing. Um, also, thank you to uh, those who have sent in a donation to the channel. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.